The SPCA is known for being South Africa's leading animal welfare watchdog, but not every dog has its day. Due to tough economic times and lack of support from the public, the organization has been forced to close branch after branch. Branches which no longer exist include Harry Smith, Oatswaring, Zerist and Breeder. And now the Krugersdorp SPCA will be closing its doors come the 31st of March. This will be the fifth branch to close in the past five years. Basically it comes down to finances. In 2009 when we took them over, um, we basically been providing funding to run that facility since then. Um, the donation that we were getting in wasn't enough to sustain the entire operations of the facility, so we've been funding them. So unfortunately we've had to you know, cut back costs. Less than 10 kilometers away from the closing Krugersdorp branch sits two animal welfare shelters. Friends of Rescued Animals, Fora, and community-led animal welfare organization, CLAW, who both paint a dire picture of the Krugersdorp branch closure. Fora is completely over capacity with 300 dogs and 150 cats at their facilities in Leopardsflay. And for shelter manager, Linda Schreis, the closure is a complete nightmare. It has a huge impact on us. Okay, and it's, an actual, it's absolutely a nightmare. We've already had people dumping dogs outside our gate because they've got nowhere to take them to. Um, at the present moment we are full, so we've got to turn them away. So in the early hours of the morning they will dump them outside the yard and then we've got no choice but to take them in. Fora regularly get phone calls from the public reporting on abuse and stray animals. People expect Fora to respond, but their hands are tied, as they do not have the same jurisdiction as the SBCA. We basically, we're helpless. There is nothing that we can do about it. Because we cannot walk into a yard and confiscate an animal um, if somebody's abusing it or neglecting it. We're not allowed to. We don't, we don't have the power to. So, you know, we, you almost feel like you're turning a blind eye. Claw, who mostly works in impoverished settlements, is currently housed on the same premises as Bora. The organization was driven out from their original property in Durban Deep due to the increased violence in the area stemming mostly from illegal mining. A skeleton crew, however, remains in Durban Deep as the organization refuses to abandon the community. Claw's vet nurse Jennifer Gurner says closing the SPCA branches has a huge impact on the community. With SPCAs, some of the branches closing down, which means that you know if people have unwanted or stray dogs, they're going to have to travel farther to find a shelter that will take them in. And the pressure, the unbelievable pressure on existing shelters and SPCAs to take in that overflow of animals, it's going to basically result in a lot more unwanted dogs being euthanized, unfortunately. But the Johannesburg SPCA has committed itself to continue servicing the Krugersdorp area after the closure. So we're running Krugersdorp area from Joburg and we need to streamline our operations. So it's, you know, we've got the full facilities here in Joburg, so it will be easier as well just to travel to Krugersdorp to do whatever we need to do that side. Animal welfare organizations rely heavily on the public to help in their fight to control animal populations, as well as rescue and rehome abused and stray animals. But there is more that the public can do to help than dipping into their pockets. Jaku Peterser, a senior investigator from the National Council of SPCAs, explains how the public can get more involved with helping to prevent the cruelty to animals. We can only urge the public to, to support their local SPCAs by means of donating, going into volunteer, assist where possible, asking how they can get involved to help. Remember, each SPCA has different needs, um, depending on the community they are serving, um, the area they are based in. So. The people must just contact their local SBCA and get more involved, um, serve the animals and help the animals that we are protecting. For SABC Digital News in Krikersdorp, I'm Nina Westhuizen.